Bison, New Land. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. As this sleep recording, purposely recorded to help you to sleep, may cause sleepiness. yourself comfortable. So maybe you need to press the pause button. Ideally, maybe laying on your bed, especially if it's a sleepy situation and you're intending to retire. Just looking to relax and just take an hour out to rest and to recuperate. Maybe you wish to sit in a comfortable chair, but make sure you your chair supports your body. So when you fall asleep, you're safe and secure. So ideally, if you've been juggling or walking around on stilts, maybe take the stilts off. There's other things you can do to help yourself to relax. Maybe before listening to this, you could have a nice bath or an adequate bath or an okay bath. Necessary. You want to be sweating after you've had the bath, which is what happens if it's a bit too hot. At least with me. Another thing. your clothing so that whatever you're wearing is nice and loose maybe baggy I like to wear loose tops which is what I do I'm so muscular and so incredibly so many mus muscles it's, it's unbelievable so I have to I kind of get an extra XXL or whatever size top so it allows me a little bit of movement and to feel relaxed So if you're wearing trousers or jeans, although I don't, I don't wear jeans anymore, I haven't worn jeans for years, I honestly can't remember the last time I wore 
chains but I used to wear them I used to buy 501s said Levi's yeah because basically you know the advert with uh, I think it was Nick Kamen was in the laundry taking his clothes off and putting them into the laundry washing machine and standing there in his boxes well I didn't really know about the advert and I was about 14 at the time and I walked into the front room and my family were watching television so I walked in with just my underpants on and I stood in front of the television and I looked at my parents and I said well the whole family there was a birthday party going on but anyway I, I said why why have you replaced the television with a big mirror he said what I said oh, well I can do it see it myself I said no it's Nick Cayman it's an advert I said, oh okay I did my uh, apologetic fart and, and left So, if you are wearing jeans, either take them off. And I find these days, uh, I don't know if it's an age thing or it's a flexibility thing. Or I find it much easier to get trousers and stuff off sitting on my bed plus I've got a ferret running around and you may think how do those two things connect well if I balance to take my trousers off uh, Andre may end up underneath my foot I end up treading on him by accident. Plus, he bites my feet, which means I might fall over. So, yeah. But it's okay if I do fall, I'll always aim towards the bed. And the bed's pressed against the wall, so it's a big double bed, so it's fine. You can tell I'm single, can't you? But if you are wearing any kind of tight trousers undo the button or the zip or the buttons if you've got buttons for the fly what I like to do and another thing it might seem strange is when I undo my trousers even if I leave them on what I do is I lift my boxer shorts not up but out just to air just to take take the material away from my skin and I gently rub that part of my belly it feels nice and comforting and relaxing Another thing you can do to help you relax is taking your shoes off. I don't mean the actual action of taking your shoes off, although that might be relaxing. It depends. I mean, 
personally, I haven't worn shoes with laces for probably, what year is it? Yeah, even then, I don't think, probably 15 years. I wear slip-ons. I mean, to be fair, that was the only other option. Unless I've been spent, go to work wearing sandals, walking around with sandals, going to college with sandals, going out on dates with sandals. Okay, going out on a date a few years back, wearing sandals, going to weddings, wearing sandals. Slip-ons was the only other option. So it's flip-flops. Well, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Sorry for your loss. to take my shoes off when I had laces. I think the top of my feet felt the most relaxed, the most relieved. That was a nice feeling. feel just oh even now I've got I wear clogs at home they're not clogs crocs are they you know hard plastic at the top but not hard but it's plastic and they're soft they're comfortable I have to wear them because of Andre he bites my toes and feet and also I have to wear socks if he's about or I have to hide my feet I don't mean like in kitchen cupboards and in the loft I mean I have to uh, get onto my big black squeaky chair which is a recliner but even then he can get to my he can get to me he just jumps up but when he jumps up I grab him and I give him lots of cuddles and kisses and then he just he doesn't he's like a teenager he's like no get off me get off I don't want to be kissed by you nah stop it you're embarrassing me Daddy, get off. So I do. He just runs off and uh, squeaks. And uh, there's something at the end of the day. I'm not saying that in a sentence. At the end of the day, it's night. At the end of the day, when I. Or at the end of the night, you know. Depends when I'm going to bed. I go through the whole process of, you know, uh, shutting down the flat. And that's another thing, the ritual. I'm not really into ritualistic stuff, but the ritual of certain actions. Expectation.
expectation of what comes next like you know you press the light switch and you expect the light to turn on or you expect the light to turn off depending you know whether the light's on or off you sit in a chair so let's say I sit in my big black squeaky chair three things I expect firstly I expect well four things I expect it to be black when I look at it well it's now starting to peel so it's clearly been going out sunbathing and now it's peeling or I've worn it out that might be it expect that when I sit in it it's going to squeak like a a tin man an old tin man's in a hip I mean like Wizard of Oz tin man Imagine what his hip would be like when he gets to 90. He's going to squeak. And I also expect to be able to push backwards and the leg support pops up. positions, there's the standard recline where I can watch television and my, my upper body's still up but my legs are up and then there's the second one where it goes all the way back although I can kind of maneuver it so that it goes in whichever you know, as far as I want it to go it doesn't turn upside down but you know it, it goes back I don't always want to be flat and that's what I expect to happen so in the same way as maybe I close my window in the living room I turn the electricity off It's a multi plug, uh, which has the laptop, the tablet, and some other stuff sometimes. So I turn that off. I would put Andre to bed if he's not already as in bed. So he sleeps in his bag when he's not running around causing chaos he sleeps in his brown and brown bag with yellow greeny stripes if he's asleep I'll just carry the bag into his bedroom where he's which is the storage room where his cage is and I'll put him in his cage and give him a kiss and he just stays asleep a bit like a small child you know when you a small child falls asleep and you carry them upstairs to bed and, and they're just asleep and they could literally stay asleep and it's just like how are you still asleep you know you it's like you could play loud music and play a trumpet in their ear and they'd still be asleep that's what Andre's a little bit like when 
once he gets to that point, he's just like, that's it. Night, night. So I put him in his cage. He sleeps at the top in a hammock. He's also got another bit uh, where he can go into, which he has been lately. like a bit of a nesting area and I just stroke it under the chin for a little bit and I just tell him I love him and I see him in the morning and I close to the door to the cage at the top the door at the bottom is already closed and then I close the door to the storage room his bedroom. By the way, when I say storage room, it's not all full of stuff. It's it's only half full of stuff. The the half that he's in is all clear. Just in case you think that there's chairs and tables and clocking spills on top of his cage, there isn't. I used to play the clocking spill when I was in the Sea Cadets. And then I'll check the front door. I've got quite a few locks on my door. So I'll check all of them, make sure they're all nice and secure. I've got a mirror near my front door. Sometimes I look into the solution to a problem that can't be fixed <laughs> so I walk away and we go into the kitchen and the main thing we just check everything's okay in there make sure the fridge is closed sometimes I'll push the fridge in it and it will still be open the other day it was a very rare but occasionally so I push the fridge to make sure it's closed I don't push it with both hands so it you know slams against the wall and breaks or I just gently nudge the I'm not using all my force all my Hulk like strength Just I just push it a little bit and it's, it's got you know, fridges have those little uh, suction y stuff, don't they? That keeps the door closed. So, yeah, so that's fine. So, I turn, well, actually, I don't normally, yeah, I might turn the kitchen light on. I might not, it depends. But if I do turn it on and then turn it off again. bathroom light on when I'm in bed so that I can see what I'm doing if I have to well when I have to get up to go to the toilet I just I just got fed up with going to the toilet in the dark walking back getting back into bed with wet toes it's, you know it's just like no I might as well at least see what I'm doing and uh, so I leave that light on I turn yeah I, I turn the light off into the bathroom so I clean my teeth
face cleansers, uh, Garnier and different, you know, they've got, they're, they're like face wipes. I don't know how makeup on, but I don't think they're necessarily for makeup, they're just to clean the skin, so I use one of those every night, just give my own skin a nice wipe, just on my face and neck. Around my ears as well, because my grandmother used to say, "Make sure you keep your ears clean." Doesn't have to you don't have to be Garnier. It could just be soap and water, but make your ear, make sure your ears are clean. I was only seven. Didn't know what Garnier was at the time, or L'Oreal. So I'm trying to fit two weeks in, one at the beginning and one at the end of the process, so that I don't have to go back to the toilet. Then I will leave the bathroom when I've done all that stuff, push the door up, and not so it's closed, but so it's you know, mainly closed, and I'll, uh, I've got a bottle of water that's just on the right hand side on a, a little long table as I walk into the living room, so I have a nice drink. Or to make it feel good about itself. I mean, I, I have to, I shake it so that the the quilt cover is more filled in by the quilt, so it's more even. So I get to puff it up that way, and then I. I don't know what the right word is. Is it pummel the pillows? Bang the pillows? I don't know. I kind of puff up the pillows anyway, make them nice and uh, comfy for me head, for me little head. the door, depending on whether I want to close it. Sometimes I leave it open. And I pull back the, the quilt so that I can sit down on the bed. And I get the crocs off of my feet and uh, I use 
used them as slippers, but they are crocs. And I just uh, leave them at the side of the bed. I try and face them in a way that when I get out of bed, I can put them straight on. So they're faced probably more towards the window, not the window, kind of like more towards the other wall, towards where the wardrobe is. They're not facing towards the door, because when I get out of bed, I'm facing more towards the wardrobe, and I can just slip my feet in, rather than turn around because I don't turn the light on in the bedroom when I wake up to go to the toilet or whatever else or there is nothing else just going to the toilet I don't mean that's all I ever do I mean that's the only reason I kind of would get up out of bed in the night time to feel the air on my feet now in the winter I generally would turn the heating off when I'm in bed that's generally what happens so I don't leave it on it's only maybe a few days a year that I leave it on when I'm in bed so it might be not it might might not be warm enough to to spend more than a few minutes without the cover on. But I just enjoy the the freedom of my feet. It almost feels like laying on my bed and the heels of my feet resting near the bottom of the bed. It's as if the air is just healing my feet. And I can feel my feet relaxing. Pretty much instantly. to remove my feet from my crocs now and doesn't quite work when I'm sitting on the, on the bed because my feet don't reach the floor well they do reach the floor but not flat not the way I'm sitting but with the crocs on they do I don't wear the Crocs for that reason. I'm not walking around my flat saying, hey, I'm five foot nine, instead of being five foot eight. Although when I went to have my medical, physical or medical, whatever it is, uh, oh, was it the end of December? In December, maybe January, and the lady, the nurse or the lady 
and she measured my height. I said, I understand you, me you know, taking my weight because that's going to fluctuate, but my height is going to be the same, isn't it, really? And she said, and I said, I don't know why you're worrying or bothering. I'm five foot eight. I know it's not like massively tall, but that's been my height since I was 15, probably 16. You know, I've been the same height for a long time. And she measured my height and she said, Oh, you're five foot seven and a half. I think she was just kidding. And I said to her, don't joke about such things. I wasn't very professional of her, I don't think. Sometimes when it comes to measurements, I think it's only fair to be generous. And if it helps you to feel good about yourself, why not? I think I'm going to start being six foot three. that routine of sitting on the bed or rather laying on the bed I like to lay on my back for just a short time and it's uh, it sounds as if the, the bed has magical powers to induce sleep. You know, sometimes I actually look forward to going to bed because I know how comfortable it is. Just the feeling of laying down feels good. Just the idea of it feels relaxing. Sleep. 